I contribute by spending money. That is so ass backwards. <laughs> I can explain. So here's what happened. A few years ago, when Target still used to do this, I would buy the boys their clothes about six months in advance because I would wait until the end of uh, the cold weather season or the hot weather season and just clear out their clearance clothing area. It's nowhere near as good as it used to be. I can still get shorts and t-shirts, but their winter clothing sale has been virtually non-existent. And today, when I went out to Walmart to get a, a new laundry basket, I noticed that they had clearance winter clothes. And I'm not even ashamed to say that this is just, this is what I am now. This I live to find bargains because I'm a stay-at-home parent 90% of the time, and this is a way that I contribute. I contribute by spending money. That is so ass backwards. <laughs> Our snack pantry also needed to be replenished. It felt like I was about a day away from having like a full-scale mutiny on my hands from the lack of snacks in the house. So I stocked up heavily at Walmart and at Ollie's. And if you don't know what Ollie's is, it's a discount store. They do overstock snacks and household goods and everything in between that you can think of. Here is an overview. This line over is Walmart and this area right here, plus this is Ollie's. Okay, so I got two winter coats here this one is for my older son for next year it's this fur is removable i always have the worst luck with these because i always forget that they're there and then i throw the whole thing in the dryer and then it turns into like a matted mess so i'm just gonna i'm gonna beat the dryer at its own game and just remove this from the get-go and just toss it but i got a black parka A gray puffer coat for the little guy. And they're nice. They're like really nice. They've both been really into these Sherpa lined hoodies lately. And I saw this and I mean, for $3.50, you can't go wrong. I normally like to buy all of their clothes from the thrift store because they're so hard on their clothing. But I wouldn't even be able to find this at the thrift store for the price that it's at. It's just... Just. And then I got the little one some jogger pants because they that's what they prefer to wear. They prefer to wear things with an elastic waistband, just like their mama. And, and they're just thick and comfy and good for the really long cold winters here. And I paid $4.50 for these pants. And then I got some no-show socks for myself. I'm already wearing a pair right now and they are very comfortable and they stay on. Highly recommend these. All right, I also got Steven some underwear, but I'm not gonna show you because that's his business. If he wants to show you, he can. I don't think he will though. All right, moving on. Moving on. I got Smart Food White Cheddar Popcorn. Kettle cooked mesquite barbecue. Kettle, sea salt and vinegar, our family's favorite chip and chip flavor. And some Doritos nacho cheese. Uh, Mickey Mouse goldfish, pizza flavored goldfish. These are our favorite types of candy. Reese's peanut butter cups, the classic kind, fast break, and New York peppermint patties. I got more chili powder for family taco nights, some drink mixes, raspberry lemonade and watermelon. This one was a recommendation from one of my old coworkers and it's been a, like, I've been obsessed with it ever since she recommended it to me. 
some Haribo Happy Cola. Um, on Sunday, we are going to be DIY detailing my car because it's looking a little funky and a little crusty. So we're gonna clean her up, try to get all the, the, the nasty winter mildewy smell out of her. And then some 409 cleaner. This is the best thing ever for cleaning our glass stovetop. Um, I just spray this on and let it sit. And then like, I feel like I've already done this in a video, but I'll like straight razor all the crust off of it and then give it a nice thorough rinse with some vinegar mixed with water. These were new. There was a deal on Ibotta for a dollar off. So I decided why not? Let's give it a try. This is normally what we get. Some Annie's shells. Um, I found a random scribble on the wall from, I don't really know what, but these always take any sort of marks off the wall really well. These are just like the generic Mr. Clean magic erasers. Some chocolate chip granola bars. Squeezy mayo. Some fruit snacks. Steven requested cereal bars about three months ago and I never got around to buying them. Popcorn. And I bribed the baby with some chocolate milk while we, while we were in the store. Moving on to Ollie's. Steven has framed one of the larger windows in our house. And so we are ready for curtains. There are two windows in our house that are six feet wide. So I just decided to get two. One for our bedroom, one for the living room. And the bedroom isn't quite framed and ready for window dressings yet. But I mean, it was... I mean, these are these were like seventeen dollars, and I was looking at curtains on Target, and they were thirty three dollars to fifty dollars per panel. So I just thought that's like that's insane. I'm not the best at interior design. I don't know if you can tell. This place is one step up from a college bachelor pad. I mean, like yes, we have a hutch right there, but. I don't know how to decorate and I don't have the energy to, to to experiment either. So I went for some of the plainest window curtains that I could find and I'm happy with them and they're machine washable. That's the most important part. part. Can it be machine washed? The, our older son is obsessed with peanut butter crackers. So I got him three packs of that. I don't know what this is but they're just wash wipes. I figured we could use it for the tires and just like random nooks and crannies. The little one asked for these. They're just M&M Rice Krispie treats, some honey wheat pretzels, butter snaps, pasta. I think these are dried chewy mangoes. I'm not quite sure. The kids like anything to do with mango though. So I want give, I decided to give these a try. And they've also never had Dunkaroos. I guess technically speaking, I've never had them either. So we've all been deprived in a way and these are expired, which I didn't notice, but I mean, come on. They're so packed full of preservatives. Do they really expire? I don't think so. Also the little one used some of his allowance money to buy a toy for himself. And that was purchased at Ollie's. So I'm gonna subtract that from our total for today. Let's see here. Let's start with Walmart. At Walmart, I spent $143.95. And at Ollie's, I spent $64.67 minus $10.80 for his Iron Man toy. And our total came out to also that's new laundry basket hi i hope you don't crack like the last one thank you for joining me today while i explained to you what happened while i blacked out i didn't black out while i overspent at two different stores thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one bye oh.